Assalamualaikum and hello everyone. We are from MEC 2204C. Today, the five of us will be presenting our bakery named Freedom Bakery. Our tagline is all you need with the spelling K-N-E-A-D is our bread, pastries and cakes. Our bakery products are served with warmth and made with passion. Before we begin, let us introduce ourselves. Assalamualaikum, my name is Nonadira Binti Badrul Aman. Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. My name is Siti Naziratul Fatina Binti Aiz. Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Noor Afrina Balkis Binti Kara Azhar. Assalamualaikum to everyone. My name is Nufarihin Binti Muhammad. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Noor Afrina Binti Abdul Aziz. Company background. Our Freedom Bakery is where prisoners come back to life because our bakery provides jobs opportunity to prisoners whom willingly to change for the better. A partnership between our bakery and prisons, where at best, the responsibilities and rewards of baking are shared. For our company's logo, it consists of knife and hand, which bringing out meaning of, for knife, it takes time to master, but the mastery is generally satisfying and fun to acquire. A knife also cocks skill and maturity. For hand, hands that were used to commit crimes can actually contribute skills to the world. Freedom Bakery's vision are, first, to provide employment and training to prisoners in an attempt to break the common cycle of reoffending. Second, to widen our business by establishing more branches and bringing out our product to the international level and to lift up the name of our company to be comparable with other large companies around the world. For mission, first, to make great pastry and help the prisoners to earn incomes for a better life. Second, aim to reduce the reoffending rate in Malaysia through employment opportunities. Third, to inspire the individuals and groups and to disseminate the knowledge and skills, which enable communities to nourish healthy people from the fields around them, enrich their local economies and cultivate food sovereignty. Problems that are related to our target market are, first, capacity of communities to feed themselves well. Even prior to the pandemic, 25% of Malaysian adults were identified as food insecure or lacking access to food primarily due to poverty. That figure is now estimated to be 30% stated by UNICEF. Also in 2020, 22% of Malaysians reduced their meal sizes. Second, lack of employment opportunities for convict or ex-convict. In 2020, the unemployment rate in Malaysia was approximately 4.55%. Malaysia's unemployment is relatively low and stable at around 3%, which means the population is experiencing close to full employment. However, despite these positive statistics, news reports state that the number of job seekers and those unemployed, which is the 3%, are generally young people, both graduates and non-graduates, and uneducated people who had trouble entering the job market. Third, consumption of bread is declining. The consumption of bread is declining during the last decades. This is due to factors such as changing eating patterns and an increasing choice of substitutes like breakfast cereals and fast foods. The different consumer segments comprise consumers paying positives to quality aspects of bread, which is enthusiastic, as well as consumers perceiving bread strongly as tasteless, non-nutritious or unhealthy. We have come out with several solutions with our product to overcome the problem faced by the community. The first is Freedom Bakery are developed their business into a low-cost bakery. Establish our business into a low-cost bakery where customers may purchase a fresh loaf of bread at a lower cost than other bakeries. Nevertheless, 
we are committed to supplying a high quality product at a reasonable cost to our customer. We came up with this idea to provide the community more options when it comes to spending their money throughout this pandemic. The second one is we are opening up employment opportunities to ex convict As stated in our company mission statement, we want to provide them with a chance to live a better life. We are giving the specialists training from the ground up in order for them to complete their assigned duties. And the last one is we are providing a nutritious love of bread to the community and will make sure enhancing raw materials sustainably carefully. We are moving to the value proposition of the company. The first one is Freedom Bakery are offering great quality at a reasonable and affordable price. Next is the employment rate for ex convict will decrease. And the last one is we are going to reduce the consumption of junk food in communities. We are dividing our target market by segment. The first one is the geographical segmentation. Our main target is in the center region state that consists of Selangor as our business premise is located at Jalan Kuala Selangor, Kampung Merbau Indah. We had chosen this state based on a few aspects in consideration, which are the infrastructure, the system of transportation, and also the neighboring residential with a large population. More importantly, we are located nearby the Sungai Bulo Prison and it will make easier for us to fulfill the objective of our bakery. The second one is the demographic segmentation. Our product may be enjoyed by individuals of all ages and gender as we are offering a portion of your daily carbohydrate intake on a daily basis. The third one is the psychographic segmentation. We are focusing on giving the best out of the best quality of pastries to our beloved customer. On top of that, we are targeting the average society to enjoy our product at a reasonable price. And the last one is the behavioral segmentation, where we are aiming for those who are planning a special occasion and our product is on their bucket list. Around this time, Freedom Bakery is always first in line to meet the high demand. Next, we are moving to the environmental trends that are providing our target market momentum. The first one is the social trends. Since the pandemic occurred in 2020, we are adjusting our life to a new norm. Thereby, the takeout trends are very popular during that period. We are taking part to play along as Freedom Bakery could deliver a fresh pastries to our customer. The second one is the economic trends. Bakery industry had a tremendous growth and become one of the most popular food in Malaysia. Bread has been selected as a good dietary source as it contains a high fiber while grain. Malaysian bread market is worth up to 500,000 ringgit million for the past few years. In addition, the future growth of the bakery industry is expected to have a constant growth of 4% per annum. And the last one is the demographic trends. We had chosen the Sungai Bulo since the population is constantly growing in this area and there are many opportunities to attract a large number of potential customers. Furthermore, we selected this area to make it easier for convict to move to our bakery for the training section. I will continue this presentation with types of product offered in Freedom Bakery. So in our bakery, we have three types of product which are cakes, bread and pastry. So all of these products are freshly baked daily. Next, we have competition. So we identify two competitors. So for the first competitors is King's Confectionery Syndrome Berhad. So their strengths are they are a very well-known brand and the prices offered are very affordable and they have physical and online store. Also, they have been in the baking industry since 1973. But for their weaknesses, they are very limited to their bakery products and the ambience and design of the store are not attractive and they are not updating their website regularly. Next competitors is Miss Bake Kitchen. So their strengths are they offer a variety of bakery products and are made with high quality ingredients. Also, they regularly update their website. But for their weaknesses, they are not a very well-known brand and the prices offered are quite expensive. Also, they does not have physical saw and they are new to the baking industry. Next, competitive advantage. First, family or individual with low income can purchase our finger licking good bakery products since price offered are affordable. Second, what is unique about our bakery is that our bakery is specialized in producing healthy bakery products and the calories are not as high as compared to other bakeries. Third, whether they are Muslim or non-Muslim, both are able to enjoy our bakery products since it is halal guaranteed. Next, how we will compete. 
first, Freedom Bakery will produce new bakery product every month to attract customer and they will feel excited to visit our bakery again. Second, our bakery applies manual label since it can adapt to changing situations and change accordingly whereas machines only respond to commands and they cannot adapt to changes. Last, our bakery uses high quality ingredients to produce bakery products. There's a saying that the finer the ingredients are, the more probable your treats will be as scrumptious as possible. So, Freedom Bakery apply this concept. We jump to the marketing strategy. For pricing, our selling price are determined based on 20% markup from the total of variable costs and fixed costs. For sales tactics, own sales force method is used to make sales since this method generates income without additional costs. Service and warranty policy, customer will get refund if they cancel their personalized order before 24 hours. They can also get a refund if they return spoiled products on the same day the products being purchased and it matches the receipt. They can report to our customer service center if they are having bad experiences with our employee and further action will be taken. For advertising and promotion, our bakery will be having cup sleep events every month and will be producing seasonal items based on celebration in Malaysia such as Hari Raya, Chinese New Year and Mother's Day. Cup Sleep Event is an event to celebrate artist's birthday or achievement or anniversary. Fans of that specific artist or group will receive free non-official merchandise by purchasing our bakery products. Next, for a customer who visit our store for the first time will be receiving free new bakery products. Also, we will collaborate with influencers when we launch our new products to gather the public's attention. For distribution, our sales are through direct channels. We sell our bakery products straight to our customers without the assistance of middlemen. Also, customers can purchase our products by walking to our store or by calling us directly to arrange for delivery to their location. We move on to the sales process for prospecting. Freedom Bakery will first search for prospects who are in need and able to afford bakery products for pre-approach. Promote our bakery through social media such as WhatsApp, TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram with exciting content that makes customers want to visit Freedom Bakery. Approach customer will be greeted with welcome to our bakery and with a smiley face and ask them politely if they need any assistance. Presentation Provide samples of our baked goods and if customers are finding a hard time to determine their needs, the employee will ask questions to gain more information. For handling objections, implement substitute method which requires suggesting of other bakery products that are similar and certify the customer's need. For closing, assist customer in selecting the best option and for follow-up, Obtain customer feedback on areas that could be improved and encourage customers to post on their social media and tag and follow our social media. To know our latest updates and promotion, they will receive 10% off for their purchase if they follow our social media. Allow me to continue the presentation, which is I will be explaining about the financial projection for our company. As you can see here, this is our table of profitability and alongside with the sturdy market, Freedom Bakery is expected to achieve profitability within the first year of its operation which is on 2022. As you can see here, within the first year, despite our heavy expenses of 367,551 ringgit, we will achieve a net profit profit of 5,822,192 ringgit after tax. With that said, we will not only achieve break even but also profits within the first year. Other than that, the total capital needed to run this company is 500,000 ringgit. Since we were new to the industry, all the resources are quite limited and a lot of money is needed to become a competitive industry partnership. We agreed to request for a loan from Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad amounting 200,000 ringgit and the remainder is from the share capital of 300,000 ringgit. Next is the cash flow break even of Freedom Bakery. Cash flow break even is a point where fixed and variable expenses equal to the sales revenue. As years progresses, our expenses does increase alongside with our income and it will all set the expense and allow us to venture and expand our business as we hope and plan in the future. As you can see, our company reached the break even on the first year where all the costs can be covered and we would still have an excess of cash on hand. 
on the sum of 26,744,754 ringgit in 5 years. Moving on to our project milestone, it shows the deadlines of activities critical to Freedom Bakery success. We have completed the business registration as a partnership from 1st till 31st August 2021, the incorporation on venture on 1st October 2021, the research and development begins on 1st November 2021, the completion of design and development has been completed on 25th December 2021 till 24th January on 2022. The preparation of office begins on 25th January 2022. We started ordering the material for operation on 1st March on 2022. And finally, we will start the business operation on 1st April 2022. For financial stock, the amount of financing that we are seeking is from capital contributed by each partner and from the bank loan. The amount of capital contributed is 300,000. Since we have five partners in our business, each partner will contribute 20% of the capital. Apart from that, a loan from Bank Islam Malaysia Berhad of 200,000 in financing all the needs of the business which the interest of loan is 6% annually and giving a period of 10 years to make the loan repayment. Next is how are we going to spend the money? We are going to spend the money on operations such as a physical store which contains the main bakery area, office area, storage and utilities room. After that, we also need to purchase raw materials and some baking equipment, make a payment of utilities, acquire motor vehicles including to pay for insurance and road tax. To conclude, Freedom Bakery was established to help a convicted or ex-convict in getting employment while also giving them training in the pastry industry. Even though we were facing some difficulties during the operation, we were able to develop a company in a successful way. Our hope is we were attending to make it in the bakery industry so that we can give high quality products according to the needs of our customers. We also want to make a great pastry by providing safe ingredients to be used for our customers. And next, we are expecting to reduce the unemployment rate of convicted or ex-convict in Malaysia. And the last one is we will also pay the taxes that have been calculated for the company in order to maintain a healthy economy. That is all for our presentation. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.